I am so glad I got it here early. Stuff was flying out the door. Lots of vintage items at great prices. We're a husband and wife team, thrifting and picking. Sometimes we find the unusual, but if there's a profit to be made, we'll take it. A little bit later in the video, we'll go over what we ended up picking up, the totals uh, that we paid, as well as what we hope to list these items for. Uh, some of these items have sold already. This was such a fun garage sale. They kept bringing out more and more great items. We hope if you like the video, you'll subscribe and hit that bell notification. It really helps us out a lot. So at this point, I start digging in. Mom lets me go through everything before she opens to uh, the public. Marty does end up coming later uh, in the day, and we came back the next day as well. Let's go ahead and see what we picked up. That ashtray was so heavy, and I couldn't figure out what it was made of. Stay tuned, and I'll let you know. The next thing I spotted was this TI-83 calculator, new in the package, and um, I was quite surprised over that, so I went ahead and picked that up. Whose calculator is this? Uh, it was, that's just in the plastic. Uh -huh. Say hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> I don't know whether to get this or not. That is heavy. I ended up saving this vintage ashtray for Marty to take a look at. We did determine it is soapstone, and we did pick it up. Okay. I, I, I want these two things. So you just keep shopping and want to have your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> now, if Marty were here, he'd probably see some things that he liked. When I get home from work, one of the first things I spot is this bag of vintage croquet balls. These have already sold for us. Debbie, you wouldn't believe the jewelry I got. It's all the Beatles. It's the Beatles, bro. <laughs> look the at history of first. Look at this old thing. Kevin gave it to me. He said, look at that. Would you believe that? A fire pull down thing. Oh, it's corroded. Yeah, I know. Look. Yeah. It's really old. <laughs> yes, it Some is. Mile on it. I wasn't sure exactly how old that fire alarm was, but because of the corrosion on it, I decided to pass. But it sold pretty quick. There were a couple of Gucci watches in there, but um, I, I wasn't sure if they were authentic, so I passed. Do you know what the heck this is? Comment below. <laughs> Mom, yeah. what is this? I don't know. Dayton would know. That's an old uh, Jason uh, uh, binoculars. Oh, it is? Yeah. I might have to look that up. I'm going to lay it out. It don't have the... The, these are missing on the bottom. Oh, the covers? Yeah, that's all. Is there a model number on those? Yeah. It says Jason model number 1196. Okay, I'll look that up. Oh, look at this vintage mirror. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I think that's uh, uh, the, what do you call them? Uh, it with the G, uh, like score hand? Yeah, score hand. <gasps> Are these vintage? <clears throat> Guess what? What? I looked those up. They're very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. But I these took, look like reproduction. Yeah, they are. I took them down to Amy's down here, and she said they're reproduction. Yeah. So I brought them back home. Yeah, I have a big price on them too. Wow. Look at that cake plate. Uh-huh, that's pretty. Okay, let's, this china. Take, take pictures of those, uh, 
I'm going to hop in here. This was an absolutely beautiful set of china. When I researched it, I couldn't find this pattern anywhere. Normally, when the um, pattern completely or almost completely fills up a, a, a piece, it's, it's worth quite a bit of money usually. But in this case, the sell-through rates on the other patterns just weren't there. So I ended up passing on it. If you see anything I probably should have picked up, let me know in comments below. Mom had some absolutely great prices for, for those looking for a bargain. Okay. I'm going to have to, to look those. It's pretty. Uh -huh. It's vintage, but... Yeah. Oh, look at those cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. 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 Is there anything on the bottom? Juice Omatic. I'm gonna have to look that up too. Jesus. <gasps> oh, okay. you okay? Here's, a, here's an old one too. It's a, it's a uh, what's it say? It's A and J egg beater. Oh yeah. Does that say made in China though? I don't know. Yeah, on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's a now those, I don't, I looked, I tried to find these on the internet and I can't find them. It says L-E-T-O-K-E pot potters, P-O-T-T. -T. It's L-I-E. L-I-E-T potters. Look how cute. Ella's garage sale today. That's so cute, Mom. I did pick up this packet of vintage hankies. I am going to sell them as a lot. I am such a sucker for, for linens. Look how pretty that is. And then here's some vintage Christmas. Three dollars, yeah. huh? I get these signs that you get somebody before I get back. Money's up on top of the refrigerator here. Oh, okay, mom. Isn't that a tin container? Uh huh. All right. Okay. We'll be right back. I ain't going to. Vera Bradley bags uh, sell pretty well for me, so I did go ahead and pick these two up that I got from my mom. Um, she had $3 on each of them. I did pick up these vintage Leteski potters tumblers. They are mid-century modern. They are vintage, and you'll be surprised at what they're worth. Mom had Boy Scouts on this, but it's actually from the Girl Scouts. It is a vintage sash with patches on it. Um, I ended up saving this for Marty to look at when he got here after work. We ended up passing. The next thing I find is a Taylor barometer. This is complete in the box with all the paperwork, and this has, has also sold for us already. There were a lot of people that had come through at this point of the garage sale. The more you look, the more you find. And it's amazing what you can overlook. And somebody will love this vintage wire. Pyrac. I picked this up. I knew somebody with vintage farmhouse decor would love it and it has sold. 
I picked up this grouping of cross pens. Uh, we got all these pens for, I think it was $6. This will be split up into four listings and actually one of the listings has already sold. My mom was only asking a dollar for each one of these mugs and coffee mugs are easy uh, to list for us and easy to ship as well. A lot of people collect these. So with it being Snickers, I went ahead and picked it up. And this could possibly be one of my best finds at this sale. This is an early edition of Call of the Wild by Jack London. Uh, this was published in 1905. Uh, this is an, in very, very good condition for a book of this age, being since it's over 100 years old. This is a Carolina Enterprises Blow Mold Santa Head. This is double-sided, 12 inches tall. They're, these are highly collectible. Next, I found a book. It's uh, a children's book, A Long Laughing Brook on the Green Meadows. Uh, what makes this book so desirable is it still has the original dust jacket. This was printed in 1949. Let's play What's It Worth? Is the vintage book worth A, $27, B, $42, or C, $55? What's It Worth value coming up in the haul shortly. Next, we find this pair of uh, vintage prescription glasses. These were made by Bosch & Lomb. These are 12 karat gold filled. For a dollar, we just couldn't pass these up. The vintage graphics on this box caught my eye first, and what they are are two Campfire Girls cookie cutters. They are metal. It looks to be all original and in very nice condition, so we definitely pick these up. Inside this little box with the mushrooms are book plates. Uh, they're made by the Antioch Book Plate Company. Uh, these you would put inside a, uh, a hardback book if you were going to put it on your library shelf. These are highly collectible. The next items we picked up were uh, two poetry books. One was Earth's Sweet Voices and the other one was One Touch of Nature. These are fantastic books. They have a linen cover on them. They were printed in the late 1800s um, in Nuremberg, Bavaria. Uh, and the, uh, the illustrations are what really caught our eye. They are monochrome illustrations. They are fantastic to look at. So the last item we picked up was this pottery duck. Uh, this is made by the Rin Kanada Art Pottery. It's made in Uruguay. This duck has a really cute little face. So now stay tuned for the haul, which is coming up next. The what's it's worth answer is C, $55. Did you get it right? The cost of goods spent was $50 cash. The estimated list price is $907.25. It was a great garage sale with lots of vintage treasure. This was our first time at the Ramp Restaurant in Portage Lakes, Ohio.
We decided to have an early dinner, so we arrived about four in the afternoon. The views from the inside through the wall of glass as well as on the outside were absolutely beautiful. What are you having? Perch. Perch and fries and coconut. Awesome. And it's very good? It's very good. On a scale of one to 10? Well, it's probably about 10. Oh, wow. Okay. Awesome. We were talking about uh, the bean soup on the menu, and yeah. our waitress, Melissa, she brought us a sample, because we said we might try it the next time we come, and it is delicious. The food was outstanding. The service with Melissa was phenomenal. Uh, when we got the bill, we were so pleasantly surprised and we definitely will be back. Marty and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you'll take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Comments and questions are always welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, the treasures are just waiting to be found. Until we see you next time, Marty and Debbie.